All right, in this tutorial, I will show you guys how to shatter apart a logo or a text. And in this case, it's gonna be text. All right, watch what I made. It's just basically the text Chronic Studio is getting shattered apart by this explosion. But in this tutorial, I will only explain how to create the shattering effect and not the explosion. Okay, so how do we do this? Start off with making a new composition. And I'm gonna name this one Shatter. And in this shatter composition, I'm just gonna grab my horizontal type tool, click anywhere, and I'm gonna type Chronic Studios. Position it in the middle, and I'm gonna apply the shatter effect to it. Simulation shatter, and I want to point out that you can do a lot more with the shatter effect than I'm gonna do in this tutorial. All right, when you start us, when you start up the effect, you will you will see a brick, brick a wall of bricks which gets shattered apart and this is basically a wireframe view and I'm gonna change this to rendered view so we can see our text getting shattered apart and we have a, a lot of settings right here but um, we'll just walk through some I want the pattern I, w I don't want it to be bricks I want it to look like glass so we have nice glass pieces and the extrusion depth is actually the thickness of our glass pieces and I want it to be to be 0.1 as I don't want that thick of glass and the repetitions are the number of glass pieces and I'm gonna change that to 30 as I want a lot of pieces okay next is the force and force one is the force which shatters our text and we have some options here and I'm not gonna change the depth I'm only gonna change the radius and strength and the radius is if I set a low value it will only take effect on the middle part of my text but we're gonna animate the radius so set your I want it to start at one second and just set a keyframe go a bit further in time and set it to about three okay so there's our shattering effect as you can see and it just falls down because of the gravity and we can change that by going to the physics and when I press U on my keyboard I can see my change parameters um, I'm just gonna change the gravity is pretty important it's set to free right now but I'm gonna set the gravity inclination to 90 and what the gravity inclination does is it defines uh, if the text is going towards or away from the camera or from us and by setting this to a high number, um, I just told After Effects to shatter the effect towards the camera. And that looks pretty cool. And I'm going to change the gravity to 14. And as you can see right now, the effect shatters apart and goes towards the camera. And I really think this looks pretty cool. And the effect is 3D also, is if you can, like you can see. And right now, I'm just going to add some glow. So to just you now just make it a bit enhanced and just go to stylize glow and change the alpha channel because it's white glow trestle to zero on top and I'm gonna change the B color to some orange maybe some deeper red orange but uh, okay and I'm just gonna change the glow intensity a bit low radius okay so right now as you can see uh, because of the glow we can't really see our chronic studio so we have to animate that press um, E to bring up your effects go down glow intensity set a keyframe and change the amount to zero and when it shatters apart I want it to be free Okay, so let's preview this. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. And it basically looks even better because the glow first comes up and it looks like the text is getting shattered because of the glow, if there's like pressure behind our text. Okay, so I, I really hope you like this tutorial and I hope to see you around on our forums, www.chronicstudios.com.